So before we talk about the camping and outdoor gear, let's talk about the Dogu. So this is the Dogu KFHO8. The Dogu hammer weighs 865 grams or just under two pounds. The hole in the top of the head of the hammer is made to fit on a belt hook. Chris Cass did a good job of explaining the Japanese language behind the name and the logo and he explained how this brand is kind of hidden in plain sight in the United States. I'll give you a link to his video in the description of my video. So I decided to check out one of these really interesting hammers that's got kind of a carabiner hole in the top of it. Small carabiner might be better. Okay, and it also has a tether end. I don't build and tear down scaffolding at high heights or anything like that. I thought this might make an interesting camping hammer. Alright, that was a look at the Dogu KFH-08 hammer. There's a lot of interesting things to show about the Uniflame. I'll get to that last. Let's take a look at this. Living in the Midwest in the United States, this was just something really interesting and exotic. I just had to kind of explore this. This is made in Japan. Don't really know anything about this brand. So this is a little bit more of a show and tell because I am not an expert on this product and I will probably never use this product for its intended purpose. It is a clamming knife. I'm assuming that the pronunciation of this brand is Nisaku. It is made in Japan. I really don't know where DSR 1K6 falls in line with high quality steels. What I can tell you about this is these are sharp. All of these edges are razor sharp. Right down to the end here. So this side here is not sharp. This side is not sharp. But when you get here to these sides, these sides are sharp. Okay. Let's try the other edge. I gotta do it left-handed here. The bottom surface of this is flat. And then all the contours are cut on one side. That's my new clamming knife that, <laughs> that I'll never use for clamming. Right now I can't even think of any alternative uses for it. It's just such an interesting knife. There are people who carve pictures on these tree funguses and sell those. And the other thing I'll say about it is it's light. It, it looks like it would be a heavy, cumbersome knife. It's not, it's really light. So 295 grams, 0.65 pounds. Now we come to the Uniflame. I did a, re a previous review on a Uniflame knife and I really like that knife and I carry it around and I use it in my yard. So I've been exploring some more of these Uniflame products and they have this kitchen knife and they put some extra features on it. I previously reviewed this Kai kitchen knife, which my wife and I really like and we use this a lot in our kitchen and it's, it's larger, uh, but it doesn't have as many features as the Uniflame. The Uniflame is made a little bit more for camping. Here's a Wustoff kitchen knife, very good knife. It's got a couple of extra features on it, but still not really any comparison to the amount of added 
features to the Uniflame. So what do they got going on here? They show this as kind of a, a nutcracker kind of a thing, and they show a pistachio in there. When I come across a pistachio that I can't break open, I don't break open pistachios by crushing them. Because pistachios, when you crush a pistachio, it just crumbles. So if I get a hard to open pistachio, I'm gonna use one of the two sizes of flat blade screwdrivers at the end. But the other thing that this thing, that this size is good for because you, you can see how much smaller it is than the, than the lid opener on the Wu stuff. This is pretty small. So yeah, for cracking nuts, but the other thing is for kind of the perfect size for a bottle cap. That's what I found. Okay, so then we've got the bottle cap opener. So even if the scissors was disassembled, I think the bottle cap opener still works. I'm not gonna open the bottle right now because I don't want that all over my studio if it sprays out of there. The other feature they have on the Uniflame is, is that they put a piercing edge right here. And that's for piercing those butane bottles that I don't use. I don't know if this would actually open a can. I'm, I'm gonna try it and hopefully I don't slice myself on camera here. Oh, it did. So if you didn't have a can opener, oh yeah, you could go around that edge. Okay, it would take a while, but you could use this as a can opener. Weighs about a quarter of a pound, or about 125 grams. Uniflames come up with a pretty versatile design here for a kitchen scissors that, which I think is gonna be a good addition to our camping kit. Okay, so that's just a quick look at some more interesting products I found on Amazon Japan. And yes, the stuff in the background is a preview of the next video. You know how YouTube works. Stay tuned and thank you for watching. All right, here's the overdue outdoor test of the Fisker's machete that I reviewed in my last video. This is buckthorn. Buckthorn is an invasive species brought to the United States from England a long time ago. And we in the United States spend a lot of time and money trying to get rid of it. I gotta say the ergonomics of the handle does let you get a good swing with this, but it doesn't seem super sharp. Seems like, seems like it takes a little more hacking on things than should be necessary, although buckthorn is kind of strong and stringy. And, and yes, the root isn't dead, so it will keep growing back.